Hi everyone, my friends and I made this film to present basic actions you can take when you experience earthquake. In Japan, every elementary school conducts evacuation drill for the cases of emergency, such as fires and earthquake. We think these drills have helped to minimize damages. So today, we like to explain to foreigners how to take actions when earthquake happens. Now we are going to show the right way to evacuate safely when you are struck by an earthquake inside a building. The basic action. First, we are going to show you the basic actions you can take when you encounter an earthquake inside your home. The most important thing is to be calm and don't panic. Secure yourself and wait until the earthquake has finished. Hide under a stable desk or table and hold the legs firmly. If you can't find a place you can escape, protect your head with a cushion and wait until the quake stops. Then, when the quake has completely stopped, escape from the building. Please notice these three tips. First, keep away from things which will possibly fall out, such as a refrigerator, bookshelves or a kitchen cabinet, from which things may fall from. Secondly, when you are cooking, turn off the hob as fire may cause further hazards. Thirdly, secure your route to go out of the building. Open the door and the windows. As the building falls down, you may lose the way to escape and become trapped inside. Course of action. No one predicts an earthquake. Although we must keep calm and take appropriate judgment at any time. Therefore, it is very important to confirm what we should do in various situations in a daily life. The lavatory is thought of as comparatively safe structurally. However, there is a risk that you might be confined to one room during a quake, so you need to make sure of keeping the door open. The bathroom has fragile articles like mirrors or window glass. If the first shock has passed, please make sure to wear clothes and get away to a safe place. In a kitchen. If the first shock has passed, turn off a fire quickly and move to a safe and large space. It is better to turn off a fire if you can, but it's not necessary. It happens to get injured with falling cooking tools and dishes, so make sure to wait for the big shaking to be over at the moment. Elevator. Push all of our buttons and get out of the elevator when it stops at the nearest level. If you are rocked in an elevator, push an emergency button which is able to contact the outside of the building which will enable you to 
take instructions afterwards. Tips. Here is some useful information for safe evacuations after earthquakes. Wear slippers or shoes because there might be shards of glass on the floor after the earthquake. If you cannot find any shoes to wear, you can tie magazines around your feet instead. After you evacuate, you should not go back inside the building. There will be aftershocks or a secondary disaster. Each area has a place of refuge. If you cannot find a place to stay safely or need somebody's help after earthquake, go there. It is important to know where a shelter is in advance. Most important things is to stay calm instead of being panicked and be away from danger. Thank you for watching. Thank you.